Salutations, this is Grim DeVille, and welcome to our Let's Play of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. I should say welcome back to our Let's Play of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, because um, I decided, I know that last episode, uh, we died as a Baraki summoner, um, and I, I kind of indicated when we were playing that episode that I was going to be moving on, that we were done. I thought about, like, what I wanted to play next, and I realized I am not done with Baraki Summoner. We only got to the beginning-ish, or the middle, I guess, of Lair, which is still, you know, kind of the beginning of the game. It's it's kind of like the end of the beginning. I think that if you don't get past Lair, I think it's fair to still restart in the same series and be like, we're continuing with this character. Um, and I feel pretty good doing that, so Baraki Summoner, because what we did... Um, I, I think I've learned some things from our from our last uh, run here. No, don't say game and exit. Um, I'm immediately going to put uh, put on some throwing things, stones, nets, and uh, I know I can edit my RC file to like automatically do this stuff, um, but I always I, I I never bother doing that. Uh, looking up how to do it. Um, but here, so uh, a few things the. We died last episode. We died because it was my fault. It was my own just rushing through things and not paying close enough attention, speeding through uh, without realizing what was going on that really ultimately directly led to our downfall. But right before that happened, uh, we were... Uh, I decided we should uh, take on this herd of elephants, which I couldn't really get away from, by going into an area where only one of them could attack me at a time. And... Um, I think that was not a terrible strategy. The problem was that I wasn't strong enough to take them. And I think now that I have a little more experience, uh, both as a Baraki and being a worshiper of Che Briados, I think I want to try doing things a little bit differently. So I do want to focus on summoning and uh, spell casting at first. But I think we really want to, even though, you know, the, I started this character with the premise of saying like, oh, I really want to lean into spell casting um and i do want to do that um we are going to all right that uh sees us attack it um uh knowing that che Briados raises our stats significantly i think we really need to make sure that we can hold our own in combat because while che Briados slows your movement a whole, whole lot, which prevents you from escaping situations, what she, he, does not do is slow your attack speed. So if I had had better attack and better armor, when I was in that corner fighting those elephants, I should have just been able to take them. We tried to run away too much instead of facing things head on, which needs to be a viable strategy with Che. So we're going to get try, uh, try to get through the beginning again here. Another, there we go. Um, so far, so good. Uh, so yeah, I, what I want to do is, after we get a modicum of summonings, uh, maybe after we get to K9, I want to focus more on fighting and uh, long blades and armor. We're going to want stealth. Um, I think that's going to be important in the future for Che, although maybe it might, we might not go for stealth until a little later on in the game. Um, but I didn't really realize by the end, by the time you get max faith with Chebriados, you have plus 15 of every single attribute. That's huge. Even if we don't put another point into int, we're going to have 30 int. Um, so we're going to be able to have heavy armor, cast spells, be good at evasion and stealth because of our dexterity, uh, do all these things. Attack. Oh, whoops. I'm hitting the wrong button. There we go. All right. Summoning's at five. Let's memorize. Uh, oh, I can't memorize Colimp yet. I need to wait till I am level two, not my summoning. We'll peek down here. Mm, okay. Good. It's auto explorer. Uh, I'm hitting caves of cud keys. <laughs> is the problem. I'm hitting the wait key for caves of cud, and I hit the auto explore key for caves of cud. Um, 
That's the problem when you play too many roguelikes. Oh my gosh, I did it again. It's period. Period is wait. And uh, in Caves of Cud, period is wait 20 turns. Um, per uh, wait in Caves of Cud is 5 on the numpad. I use the numpad. And... Um, uh, let's guess another. Yeah. Good. Nice. Now we're level 2. Let's memorize call imp. Uh, yes. I also found out, um, apparently they made a change in dot two six. Apparently, so it used to be that you could only train skills, like you could only train long blades once you have long blades. Apparently now, I can train long blades even though I don't have a long blade. So we could train shields, we could train, uh, immediately train long blades. Still, I don't think, I don't think it really makes sense for us now. I do just want summonings for the time being in the early game. In like the very early game. But we will want to switch that off soon. As soon as we find a long blade. It does... It, it is a shame that we're not going to have a really awesome... Uh, Falchion of plus four elect. Like we did last game. But who knows? Maybe maybe the game will bless us with something even better. Uh, attack. Got a... Ooh. The rat dies. It's a lyric to a Simon and Garfunkel song. If you don't know it, where have you been? Um, <laughs> all right, heal up. So yeah, I hope, I don't know if you were expecting me to be playing a different kind of character. Um, I thought about a few things, but I, I really decided that we were not done with Baraki of Che. Is our Quoka... This is kind of awkward for summonings. No, run. Eh. Like, can the Quoka... hit it when I can't see it? I don't think it can. This is a bit problematic. Oh, there we go. Get it, Quokka. A Quokka is an Australian mammal, I found out. I think I recently read that. Okay. Um, and I have imps now. Why am I not casting imps? So, yeah, and that's at 3%. Uh, Colcane Unfamiliar. Yeah, we'll get that down. Because we, we will want summonings. And I think, well, let's immediately start training up fighting to get our hit points up and get a little better at that. And again, I'm not casting imps. Let's cast one now. Okay. <laughs> I got annoyed. I, I was uh, trying to, I, always, I usually try to direction towards an enemy instead of tabbing. Tab makes you attack the greatest threat near you. Um, and I have not been doing that. Oh, there we go. Thank you, White Imp. 20 poison darts. Very good. Oh, nice, Shadow Imp. Very nice. You pointed at it and it died. Before we check that downstairs, let's take advantage of this awesome Shadow Imp. Where did it go? Shadow Imp. All right, let's go down. Aha! Um, I guess while we're here, let's take advantage of a few of them being asleep. Good, we didn't wake them up with our chanting. Nice! Oh, well, now that we have these two white imps, what else can we do? Oh, one went away. Okay. Auto-explore. Done exploring. Okay. Yeah, let's go down here. So I hope you're happy that we're playing um, the Baraki again, and hope I'm, I'm, I feel I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like I learned a lot last last time, a lot more than I play than I learned when I played uh, Baraki Summoner on my own. Um, 
uh, specifically of Che. Felt pretty okay about that, even though we were kind of low on health. Um, whoops. Attack. Good. Uh, we should pick up a weapon. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not, I'm not thinking clearly, um, which is not a good way to start. Uh, we definitely need a weapon. In fact, have we found... Um, found up uh, yeah I guess they had a hex is the best weapon we've found that's identified so far a little better than the club good uh oh there is an adder let's cast more imps ooh that I failed to cast an imp did I just hit miscast again I did I miscast um, summon mammal this is not good let's hop away uh, we do not want oh that was not a good hop we don't want to fight the snake. Hopefully it doesn't... Oh, it sees me. Maybe I can... Oh, yeah, I can get up the stairs. Thanks to the imp blocking, we're going to be able to get away. And let's exclude that stair for now. Because if that thing poisons me and I can't get away, we may just be dead. Um... No, no, no. This stair, right? Yes. So all of the downstairs are right here for the next floor. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Imp. Another imp. Kill that. Hmm. Okay, good. I want you guys to kill the adder, not the worm. Yes. Um, we're lowest on strength, so I'm going to put it into strength for now. Knowing that we're going to get it 30 int by the end of the game. Uh, at least. I attack the worm. I think I might be faster than the worm. I should, probably should have gone up the stairs. Good. Because I didn't know what was over here in the darkness, and it could have been bad enemies. I got lucky. See, I'm like, I really learned my lesson. I need to be a lot more careful, and then I'm immediately failing to be more careful. It's hard. Oh, here we go. There's another example of me failing to be careful. Okay. Uh, attack. Help attack. Um, get another imp. Okay, good. A white one. This is looking fine. Good. Gotta remember our, I, ooh, that's not okay though. And our white imp just disappeared. Let's get upstairs. And we'll uh, put an exclusion on that door as well. It might be the same snake, I don't know. Okay. Let's go up here. Carefully. Uh, we saw a snake up that way. An adder. And I believe that's our first ring. Okay. We're near the staircase. Okay. We can call limbs pretty safely from here. Yeah, we're going to kill this thing. Good. All right, fighting level one. Um, how we doing? Uh, let's memorize Call Cain Unfamiliar because we know we're going to want it. Okay. And then it's at 6% right now. We're not wearing armor either. Once we get it pretty castable, I think we're going to... Probably focus on armor, assuming we have armor at that point. Uh, we'll probably find leather armor by then. Oh, hello. Okay. 
There's some ring mail, though it's not identified. Uh, that's okay. Go get that ooze. Very good. Go get it. Go get it. Go get that bat. Go get that bat. I'll help you. Ooh, another adder. Back up. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, let's get some imps. More imps. More imps. Everyone attack it. And we're going to help. We, we can't really run away, so... We are poisoned. Um, I don't have any double potions of anything. I could try to run, but I think our best bet, again, because we're slow, is to try to attack. Our attack isn't that fast right now either, of course. Um, we know nothing. We have nothing we can evoke. All of our imps are crimson, which isn't good. Let's attack one more time. Oh, this is really bad. We might be dead. Let's hop away. All right, that wasn't bad. But we're double poisoned. Super bad. And our imps are failing us. Let's guess another one. Oh, okay. That's a good one. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Shadow Imp. Oh, the we, we, yeah, the shadow hit it and then we hit it. Okay. Yeah, we could have died there. Wouldn't have been super our fault, but it can be hard at the beginning of the game with the poison. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the scroll of identify, the one we have four of. It is. Let's identify some of these potions. Good. There's curing. Um, cancellation, mutation, and might. All good potions. Well, mutation's not super helpful at this point. Go kill it. Good. Go kill it. Good. Um, yeah, I'll take that short sword. And I'll wield it. And drop the hand axe. In fact, now, because I know we're going to want to get long blades up to Mindalay pretty soon... And this is something that's going to be pretty different than last run through. Um, I'm going to put it on now. I'm going to set even a target of 14 on it. I'm not going to focus it. Long blades have synergy with short blades. So as we train up long blades, the short blade that we're carrying will get a little better. I'm not going to focus it yet, but we'll probably focus it at some point. So yeah, even though th I'm thinking of this as a spell casting build, we're going to be primarily summoner and maybe ice magic. Um... Being of Che, it's going to be perfectly viable to be uh, to be able to um, mail. Why am I casting mammals um, to fight? And um, we we would be foolish not to take advantage of that. We're gonna have the abilities to do it. We should take advantage of it. All right, we got another scroll of identify. Let's use that on um, the golden potion. Degen, we can drop that. Okay, Wand of Digging, nice. Okay. Did I miss anything here? So I'm going to do Control F to search, and then Dot will search for everything on that floor. Um, I think it's the floor. Where's this for? Everywhere. I think it's the floor. All right, that's fine. Let's go down. I am wielding the short sword. Yes. Uh, imp. Imp. Okay, good. Good shadow one. Let's guess another one. I miscast. I'm gonna wait. Okay, good. Crimson Imp is taking care of business here. Nice. Oh, you didn't quite kill there we go very good uh imp okay oh dear 
Uh, do you have any crazy weapons? Ooh, plus two flail. But of holy wrath, that doesn't uh, hurt us. But a plus two flail. Um, let's hop away. Cast another imp. And another. Two iron imps. We're fine. It's very strong. Come on, iron imps. Take care of business. Any, anyone else you can kill while you're here? Before you poof. I'm looking for monsters. Probably not the best idea. Go do it. Well done. All right, here we have leather armor and ring mail. I'm going to take both of them for the time being. I will immediately put on the leather armor. And I think at this point I will turn on armor. And again, we have really good um, aptitudes for long blades, for armor, even for dodging, for shields. Um, not bad. Okay, we have Call Cannon Familiars at 7%. Okay. Um, and our AC is 3. <laughs> Let me see, if I... So right now, Call Imp is at 3%. If I wore the Ring Mail, raises it to 6%. That's not terrible. But let's get more armor skill first. 5 and 10. 5 AC and 10 EV. It's basically a wash with the AC and EV uh, sum total if we're wearing leather, except we can cast spells more effectively. So we'll keep this for now. Call some Imps. Got another iron one. A lot of iron imps today. Let's peek down the staircase. Ah, um. Ah. Uh, so we have an opportunity to stab it because it's asleep. But if we fail and it poisons us, we're in big, big trouble. Tempting as it is to stab it to try to insta kill. We're going to run away, and I'm going to exclude the staircase. Just because I don't want to go down it and uh, be poisoned immediately. Well done, Imp. Another potion of two potions of curing. Uh, the adder zombie cannot poison you, so we're not afraid. All right, auto explore. Peek down this staircase. Okay. Uh, fail to cast imp. Okay, there we go. White one's good for the slug. Oh, an amulet. Hmm. Tempting to put it on. Because we don't have a god yet, so faith wouldn't hurt us. It could be of harm. And uh, it would drain our skills. Although I've heard... I think one of the updates in Dot to Six is that drain no longer actually drains your skills, but just your hit points. Um, you know what? Uh, we have, um, well, we might, it might be curse too. And we don't know if we have a, re we probably have a remove curse. It would be very surprising if we don't. You know what? I'm going to take a chance. Put on that amulet. Acrobat. Very nice. Um, Acrobat, as you can see, when I took a step, my evasion, if you're moving, your evasion goes up dramatically. Probably not the best amulet for a Baraki who can't really run away from things very well, but um, certainly better than nothing. War Axe. We'll peek down these stairs. Okay. I will uh, call an imp on you. Whoops. Call it. Call it. Attack it. I think I shouted accidentally. Oh gosh, there's Grinder. Hi, Grinder. You have pain, paralyzed, and blink, and I do not want to fight you. Fortunately, there's an Iron Imp in the way. Um, while that Iron Imp is in the way, I will cast more Imps. The Iron Imp is the perfect Imp to be in the way. I think it's resistant to magic. No, not really. Yeah, it's immune to negative energy. When I think Paralyze is negative energy, I think. I think this is actually perfect. 
Grinder blinked away. Um, go on. Uh, cast, cast another one. Keep attacking it. The iron imp disappeared. All right, it paralyzed the white imp. Blinked again. Wake up. Cast another one. Uh oh, white imp died. All right, that was a good attempt, but we didn't quite do it. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're gonna forbid that staircase. I thought maybe with the iron imp we had a chance, and we did. It just didn't quite work out. We we got him, I think, below half health. Whoa! Okay, so this is a reason you should always look at what enemies are carrying. It probably it told us in the logs, didn't it? Um, where is it? Control P uh, shows the log. Um, a goblin comes into view. It is wielding a plus one dagger of venom. I need to pay very close attention to those messages. Um, we shouldn't die. Good. Uh, because we still had most of our hit points, even though it poisoned us twice. But that was very dangerous. Uh, we will wield that Dagger of Venom, though. That's going to be better than our short sword, just because poison is a very good brand on a dagger, um, especially in the early game. Speaking of branding, yeah, so we're, you can see we've trained 0.7 of long blades, and that translates to 0.2 of short blades, but it's something. Watch our poison here. Oh, one hit, double poison. That can just walk away, it dies. So good. I mean, it was just a rat, but... Whoops, I... What did I just do? What did I just hit push? I hit P? Wait, what does P do? Hold on, what's the command P that I accidentally hit? Is it cast the last spell? We didn't cast a mammal last, though. Um, where's P on here? Uh, lowercase p, specifically. I don't see it. Lowercase p does something, and I don't like it. All right, we're done exploring. Let's go down the only staircase that's not ex that doesn't have an exclusion on it. There's a cape. That's lovely. Get this. Um, actually, while we're here, let's read some of these scrolls. The ones we have duplicates of. Teleportation. We're going to go upstairs. Uh, wait a turn or two. Okay. And the reason we do that by the staircase is so if it's teleportation, we can go up and safely teleport and know we're not going to land right next to a powerful enemy. Um, okay. So let's do the next duplicate. Scroll of Remove Curse. Very good. Uh, and now I feel safe wearing that cloak. Plus zero cloak, which... Let's see. We are 412... Yeah, so it gives you one AC, the plus zero cloak, which is nice. It increases our AC by uh, 33%. Um, let's see. That's all I have to wear to put on. Oh, we also have this ring. Yeah, let's put on that ring. Ring of flight, okay. We can now invoke flight, but uh, with a fairly high chance of failure. Um, very situational. Let's read. I don't really need to read the others. No, it'll be good. Um, the, just the duplicates, I think. There's the immolation, and the last duplicate is enchant weapon, which sure will enchant the dagger. Uh, that's not good. Let's immediately cast... No, a, um, imp. Okay, I'm glad it's an iron one. I'm gonna hop away. Decent hop. More imps. All right, um, Bullfrog is definitely faster than I am. It is fast, in fact. So now that we have three imps and it's confused, I'm gonna stab it. Uh, when something's confused, you can get, um, if you're use especially if you're using a short blade, uh, you can get stabbing damage. Ooh, that wasn't great. Uh, so we failed to do that. Oh good, we double poisoned it. All right, this is looking better, much better. Um, how much damage can you do though? Nine. So you can't kill us in one hit. I think I, I'm best off standing and attacking. Good. 
very very good fighting so this is that's the thing uh if last game i think i might have tried to run away just because that's my like default dcss action is you want to you want to get into a better position you want to flee when you can you cannot flee when you're baraki especially of chibriados um best to just stand and fight you you have a better chance standing and fighting um especially with all these summons so there we go long blades is at one fighting's at two and we are level five uh that slug should be fine But yeah, so five on the numpad is Restal Healed um, in DCSS. Whereas in Caves of Cut, it's uh, wait one turn. All right, auto explore. This is fine. Try to get some... Uh, I did get stabbing damage. You can see it fa failed to defend itself. But now that it's up, I'm going to get a little imp help. And because it's a skeleton, my poison brand doesn't actually help us at all. Oh, I'll peek down this staircase. Okay. Uh, let's get an imp. Move in so the imp can also attack. Another remove curse. Grinder was over there, um, but there's an adder. Go attack that adder. I'm going to cast uh, more imps. Okay, that those two imps should be able to take it. Um, in fact, that iron imp makes me want to fight Grinder again, but not fight... Nice. Oh, there's Grinder. And we're paralyzed immediately. Okay. Um, we're gonna. S uh, hmm. What am I gonna be best off doing here? Casting more imps? Yes. Oh, two iron imps. Where are you, Grinder? Come at me. All right, good. And I'm going to slowly back away. Yes. Um, cast another imp. Okay. Oh, you killed one of my... Uh, no, uh, the uh, iron imp just disappeared. Oh, good. We cast another one. All right, everyone attack Grinder, please. Eh. You know what? I think at this point, again, I'm going to call another imp, and we're better off attacking him. Especially because we have poison. We can po Oh, nice. Double poisoned. Um, mm, uh, now, do I pop away, or do I keep hitting? If he, if he casts pain on us, we're kind of in trouble. Pain... It doesn't actually tell us how much damage it does. Although, I think we can tell with... Um, with, um, what is it? Is it F12? Uh, with Seam here, the bot, because I am playing online and I have Seam in my chat. I think I can say pain like that. No, uh, what is it? So like this, it's been so long. There we go. Level one Necroskeleton does 1d4 plus power over five damage with a limit of 25. Okay. Uh, 1d4 plus power over five. And I don't know your power, but it's probably not that high. You're probably do only doing 1d4 damage with it, one, plus one or something. So, okay, let's attack. If you paralyze us, of course, you could paint us several times. Stab you again. Cast another imp. Oh, God. All right. Hop away. Good. They killed Grinder. The Iron Imp killed Grinder. That was maybe... Maybe I could have done that better, but we won. Um, do we still want strength? I think I do. Here in the early game, I do want more strength. All right. Thanks, guys. We killed Grinder, which we never even did last game. We're already ahead of the curve. Um, the poison helps a lot. A whole lot. And I knew I had poison. That's one of the reasons we... Um, I stayed and stabbed him. Okay. We... What is... Uh, 
Summon Cannon Familiar is at 4%. Very castable now, even with the leather armor. Um, we still don't have a long blade. Uh, and do I... Can I say find long... Long, long find. Long blade. Um... That's just everything on this level. But I think there's a... Isn't there a find for, like, the entire dungeon? I think there is. Let's say I put le uh, leather. Yeah, it, it tells us D3. We're on D4 right now. Okay. I don't think we found any long blades. Oh, Motherath. Hey, we, we, we saw this same temple last game. Um, this is a trog temple, I think, or shrine, whatever you want to call it. Whoosh. Cast a puppy. Go get it. Get that puppy. Get that worm. Go get that worm. Okay, worm's angry. Um, I failed to cast the dog. Let's cast an... Okay, that should be fine. Kill it. Okay. That's everything. All right, here's a long blade. Uh, let's see. Is it cursed? It is not. Um, so this is more our style, however, and we can repost with this, but what we cannot do is um, poison with it right now. So Dagger of Venom is still going to be our weapon. Also, I should put in a cut, but um, this is good. Uh, yeah, Dungeon 4, first episode with a new character. We're doing all right. We're going to get further this time. We're going all the way, I hope. I enjoyed playing with you today. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.